Om Shanti. We are here with 12th of May's Godly Blessing. There is a service going on over here. A VIP has come over here for Seva. So we are engaged with that. It is getting a little delayed. Please don't mind. But we are going to go ahead and I am going to post the videos of the Vartans. Maybe a day later, if possible. Maybe on the same day. So please bear with us and we are going to continue this beautiful blessing on the self-healing meditation group or the channel. So in this beautiful meditation, God wants us to become loving and detached. That means take care of everything as a trustee. Isn't everything being given by God to us? So everything belongs to whom? Right. You thought it right. So everything belongs to him. Then why should we worry? Why should we panic? Why should we, we be stressful? What's going to happen to my parents? What's going to happen to my children? What's going to happen to my wife? What's going to happen to my family? What's going to happen to my money? What's going to happen to my bank account? Where's the money going to come? Where's the food going to come? If my karmas are all okay, if I'm not doing any karma out of greed or ego or jealousy or hatred, and that, by the way, happens when we think everything is ours, and then everything starts coming down in our life. But if we do every karma on the basis of our being a trustee, then we don't panic, we don't get stressed out, we don't use negative virtues we use the positive virtues and that's how everything comes to us god's grace comes to us god's guidance comes to us so let's see what does god have to say in his own words may you be loving and detached and experience a constant and stable stage in every situation by having the awareness of being a trustee so when you live as a trustee a trustee is someone who doesn't claim anything to be his claim anyone to be his but treats everything and everyone equally because he believes that everything is being given by the owner. And here, the owner is God. In the case of other trusts, the owner is somebody else, a director, producer, or whosoever. But here, the owner is God. In those trusts also, the final owner is God actually. So here we're going to think about on the basis of that I have everything around me and it all belongs to God. God has given me all these things. So how do I use it? That's what matters. How do I use this body also is what matters because God has given this body. So God says, your stage is constant in every situation because a trustee means to be loving and detached. To be loving to God and detached from things. You can't be attached to things and still be loving to God. That's why many people face problem of meditation. They are not able to meditate because they are involved on a daily basis into things. Mine and this is mine and that is mine and he is mine and she is mine. When you are a householder, most of you must be householders. There are all types of tastes. And where do we take those tastes from? It's not about food items, huh, by the way. And there is a lot of consciousness of mine. So we take the taste from, this is mine. I own this. That vehicle is mine. This dress is mine. This cupboard is mine. This house is mine. And we are having the pride, false pride. Full of, we are full of false pride because of all these things. Because nothing is asked. We are just here to use and go. How about that feeling? So... Sometimes the consciousness, consciousness of my home, sometimes my family, and this my is a problem. Householder consciousness means to wander around in the sweetness of many things. Mine and mine and mine. Trusty consciousness means to be stable. That means I am stable, I am a trusty, and nothing belongs to me, but I am just taking care of everything. So will I have any hard feeling if something goes wrong? I will be detached and taking care of it instead of... Instead of complaining, blaming, finding faults and saying why did it happen, who did it, it's my idea or my thing, who spoiled No, as a trustee you'll be detached and you'll be taking care of the purpose and not blaming anyone. A trustee would be constantly light and always in the ascending stage. It'd be lighter in your mind because you're taking care of things as a trustee, not as an owner. And you'll always feel that you're going in ascending stage means you'll be lighter, you'll always be connected to God. He would not have any attachment to the consciousness of mind, nor would he have waves of sorrow. Let's say for a simple example, your phone, it falls down. Do you have sorrow? Well, if you think that this thing has been given to me by God as a gift to be taken care of and to be utilized to do right karmas, and it is not mine, it is God's gift. So, you will not have any kind of sorrow if anything happens to it. But if you think of it as mine, I worked so hard to buy it, then that mind is poison in the mind and that poison when it spreads it becomes difficult to come out of sorrow. Same thing happens when we go about in relationships. That's all. That was about a thing, a phone, which is doing the recording right now in front of me. What about people? 
if I claim somebody to be mine and that person leaves the body, then what? Sorrow? Yes, it will come. But if I don't think that is mine, that soul came, played his or her part and then finished the part and had a reason to go to the next life. How about that? Makes you feel lighter. But it has to be felt, not just thought about. And that's what we do in meditation, Raj Yoga. Everything is God's, everything belongs to God, so why should we be in sorrow? God gave us and God took it. Actually, God did not take it. The karma took it. So everybody's karma is guiding their life. And that's what you learn in Brahma Kumari. You're most welcome to take this beautiful education. Om Shanti with this.